In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is a belief of our faith that God is a community and that we are created in God's image and likeness. Let us ask the Creator Father, the Redeemer Son and Brother, and the Holy Spirit for the grace of forgiveness and mercy as we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are brother and savior. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you send us the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up to Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in a cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, The Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. Then he said, If I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along on our journey. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. response for a real psalm is glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalt, exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who took look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever.
A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. When I look at you, I can tell that today is a very special day, even though we don't have many people in our church. What are the signs that we can see today is a very special day? What do we see different today? Yes. Hmm? Okay, what do we see when you look at the church, everybody who has come to church, that today is different? Um, there is a lot more room. Lot more room, empty, that tells us something, uh, something big is happening. What do you say? What do you see? You are doing the first communion. That is true. Now what do you have to say? Hmm? Water is not running. Yes, that is true too. Okay. And who else can tell me something? What's happening today? 
what's going on, what do you see? How about you? You are receiving First Communion, yes, what else? How often do you dress like this? Huh? When you come to church, how often do you dress in ties and new shirts and wonderful suits and dresses? Do you do that? So that tells us something very special is happening. So that tells that we are receiving Jesus for the first time in the form of bread and wine. Who can tell me who said that uh, you had to receive communion? Who asked you to receive communion? Yes. Who said? You said? Okay. And how about you? Who said that you had to receive communion? How about you? Huh? How did yes, God said it. How did he say? Okay, who said it? Jesus. Okay, it's God too, yes. So Jesus told us. I thought you are going to tell that your mother said. How many of you are receiving communion because of your mother and father ask you to receive? So when did Jesus say that you had to receive communion? Do you remember? Yes. Hmm? At the Last Supper, what did he say? Can you remember? He took bread and he blessed it and gave it to his friends and asked them to eat and he said this is my body then he took a cup of wine and he blessed it again and gave it to his friends and asked them to drink and he said this is the blood that he is uh, pouring to forgive sins then he said do this as often as you can you could uh, to remember him so for the last 2,000 years, we have been doing that, okay? So today, for the first time, you are doing what Jesus asked you to do, receiving his body and blood, okay? So remember this day very well, because you are going to get close to Jesus as much as so you become what it is when you consume the body and blood. You become the very body of Christ and the blood of Christ. Okay? Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. 
I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Spirit of God speak to our hearts and urges us to bring our cares to our God. We pray for all who are baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, who proclaim the good news with their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for our leaders of nations. May they always remember the dignity of every human being. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for unity within our communities especially during this time of division and hostility. Working together, may everyone find the strength to do what is right, turn away from violence and find peace and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for this church community as we enter into st stages of reopening our church doors. May we be patient and understanding as we transition into these next few weeks. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those we've been asked to pray for this weekend, for the sick and the dying, for those affected by the pandemic, physically, emotionally, and financially, for the intentions that are written in, in our parish book of prayer, Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Abraham, we stand before you united in love. By the power of your Holy Spirit, grant what we ask in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. I, now I invite all our uh, first communicants to come and join me. There are blue spots marked here and there, so please come and join me. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God and one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. 
for what you have revealed to us of your glory we believe equally of your son and of the holy spirit so that in the confessing of the true and eternal godhead you might be adored in what is proper to each person their unity in substance and their equality in majesty for this is praised by angels and archangels cherubim and the seraphim who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim hosts on You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it." for well, this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, George, Leo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You can go back to your seat, okay? You can go back. You can go back. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
body of Christ. Body of Christ. Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ. body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all our first communicants and congratulations. I also want to thank all the parents, godparents and grandparents who helped them on their journey to receive this wonderful sacrament and also our catechist and Julianne, um, the Faith Formation Director for our parish and all those who helped them in their journey. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.
Thank you.